frequency as you can see the oxygen voice is lacking me of the customization uh, options you can actually install expose framework to uh, customize your android lollipop to the core uh, as you can see uh, I had installed some some tweaks on the expose framework I'm getting the network speed over the corner and I'm I even change the color of the uh, color of the uh, time and the battery icon and everything why I to the black using the gravity box you can do that by installing the expose framework yeah those are the benefits so let us see how to install the expose framework on your oxygen OS on your lollipop on your oneplus one device sorry for that and now first of all you need to go to the uh, go to this address and download these two files prior to everything your phone must be rooted for the expose framework to be installed and and there should be a custom recovery which should be running like such as twrp or 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 something like cyanogen mods recovery so i am having twrp installed on my phone and if you want to see if you want to install it on your phone you can check my other videos i'll be posting the links for the description below so let us see how to do that first i will be watching you posting you the address of this thing in the description or you can search for expose for a lollipop in google you'll be getting the first link for this thing and you'll be finding these files which are exposed uh, dot zip and that and the apk file which comes along with that download both of them yeah i'll be using chrome to download yeah okay and then download the zip file which you need to flash in your recovery custom recovery yeah, yeah sure. so once you're done with the download you need to install the apk file you let that be downloaded it's taking a while for that mm, yeah before that i'll be installing the apk file you need to i already installed it so i'm just reinstalling it to show you how to how it's done once you're done with the installation, let the zip file be downloaded. Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, it's it's downloaded. Now you need to reboot your custom recovery. You can do that directly by switching it off, and you have to keep pressing the power power, power and volume volume down button simultaneously. That's quite tricky. You can actually do it in, in a much more easier way. To do that, you need to enable the developer options in your OnePlus One settings. Uh, you need to enable the developer option you need to go to the about phone which is over here and then you need to keep pressing the build date like eight times once you once you keep pressing the build build number so you need to keep pressing the build number nine times more than eight times and you'll be getting a developer options menu over here and check that go to developer options and then there is something called advanced reboot which is over here you need to enable that check that out so you'll be getting some extra options when you reboot your phone now I had enabled that. Now keep pressing the keep ho holding the power button. You'll be getting an option called reboot. Click that reboot and you have when you click on the recovery, it'll directly take you to the custom recovery which is RP. There it is rebooting. As the exposed framework is in the uh, alpha stage you need to flash the zip separately normally in all in, in KitKat and, and other OSS you can directly install the framework and if you have the root access it will directly install the required files but as it is in the alpha release for the lollipop thing you need to zip you need to install the zip file for it to work so let it be restarted it's restarting wait for device sorry for that Yeah, now you need to go to the install thing and then go to the downloads and install the file which I downloaded which is exposed arm.zip you can see yeah tap on that yeah you will be having this menu in that you need to go click on the install and you need to go to downloads and then install this file which is which are downloaded and then once you select that you will get an option called swipe to confirm flash and you need to swipe that to flash it yeah it is installed now you need to reboot your phone uh, after installing it might take a little while for the first boot after installing the framework 
Uh, it will take around like 2 minutes. Yeah, that's the logo for the Oxygen OS. Uh, yeah, if you think this video has helped you in any way, please do subscribe or you can even like the video. You know, you can check whether the framework's working to do that. You need, he has he had installed this app which is expose installer. Open that app and then you go to framework. See uh, if if you have successfully installed the file and the zip file will be getting this two thing active, we'll be getting sixty one and sixty two for that app processes and expose dot that and now your phone is installed, the expose framework is installed and if you want for example i'll be showing you how to install this uh, like how to get this network speed on your oneplus one it is quite useful because you can get you can know how much how much like how much amount of data is getting transferred from your phone directly by seeing at the notification area to check that uh, to install that you need to go to the expose installer and then search for this app called you need to go to downloads and then you need to search for an app called network speed indicator and once you go to that you need to swipe it thrice like you'll be having versions and then you need to go to settings and then you need to you need to change the versions to be shown to experimental and then go back to versions and download the file which is over here I, I, you'll be having an option to download like this I had already downloaded it so once you download it you need to install it it'll ask you to install you need to install that and once you install after that you need to go to the expose framework and enable the tweak which you had downloaded to do that I'll be showing you how it's done go to the expose framework this is over here once you install any expose related tweak you'll be getting an option over here to enable the module you need to go to the modules and then select the tweaks which you had installed for example I installed this network speed indicator and you need to check that Check that app which is over here, and then once you enable that, or for example, I'll be enabling the X privacy. The X privacy is like I, it'll it'll opt, it'll stop all it'll 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 give you extra control of the apps which you had installed. Like it'll uh, it'll ask you the permissions for uh, for an app to if it, if an app wants to access your internal files, it'll show you it can actually restrict the access to any of the files. So this is a useful app, X privacy. Now go once you once you check that you need to go to framework and then soft reboot your phone or reboot your phone. Then the module will be installed, like module will be activated. You need to give the super user access, otherwise the apps will not be working. So you need to give the super user access. Your phone must be rooted, obviously granted. As you can see the network speed indicator is working in the corner and that's it for now people and this is one c signing off